Hello guys, today I will be teaching you how to grow on YouTube. Now this covers everything that I've learned since 2010 when I first started. Yes, I started back on a separate channel making LEGO stop motion videos and I've come a long way. I have learned a lot and there's a huge amount of topics here that I'm going to teach you so please get a pen and paper because you guys need to be super serious about this because I'm getting in, I'm going in hardcore. Now some of the stuff I cover might not be super in-depth. I'll try and go as in-depth for this type of video as I can. But if you guys want me to do separate videos on every single thing I cover in here, just comment down below what you want and I'll go all in on that one topic. Now if you don't want to watch certain parts of this, be sure to skip to random parts of the video and just pick your way through. But seriously, if you are serious about growing on YouTube, watch this entire video. So the first thing I want to address is where to begin. What type of video should you make? Now there's really no right answer to this, but what I found worked for me after a long time of just finding what works. What you gotta do is you gotta find a niche, which is basically, I would always get confused by this term, it's just a, a category of videos that's super defined into one little, little thing. So back in the summer, I made a short film where I got shrunk down to like miniature size and it really kicked off for like a day it got a thousand views in a day and then it just dropped dead and i entered a really weird niche that i did not want to continue because there were some pretty weird search terms and i'm just gonna leave it at that but then recently in september i got a new type of topic and i'm pretty sure you guys know all about this it was the pewdiepie versus t-series Thing. So I can kind of attribute a bunch of my success here to curiosity. So one day I was looking at YouTube play buttons, you know, looking at them, admiring them, hoping that I could get one myself. And I'm over a quarter way there now. Thanks guys. And I saw this YouTube channel called T-Series and that they have passed 50 million subscribers. So it got me thinking, did they get one for 50 million just like PewDiePie did? And if they did, I want to know what it looks like. So I looked around on the internet, I found absolutely no results. This is before they were actually awarded it though. So I looked around, there was completely nothing, and I thought, man, you know, someone should make a video on this. And then I thought, wait, I have a YouTube channel, why don't I make a video on this? The answer is no. Other people want to know what the answer is, I'll tell them it doesn't exist yet. So that's what I did. And then a week later, it got revealed. So I made a video on that. And then from there, I went on making YouTube play button videos, and then T-series subbot videos. And then from there, it just went up. Like the charts were way up. I pretty much tripled my sub count. My views were, prior to making that video, my views were at 10,000 total across my whole channel. Now they're over 2.5 million, which is insane to me because I never thought I'd ever get there. And all I had to do was do a quick Google search to find out that they had no play button. And with other videos like the subbot video, I just used basic logic with a few um, types of different research to compare things, and it worked out great. So, so basically what you gotta do is find a topic, find a video that hasn't been done before on the already trendy topic, and make the video. Okay, so throughout this video, you're probably gonna see me do this a lot. It's just me adding in more facts because there is definitely a lot. I want to talk about what happens when you actually find something that works. When you find a trend or a little niche that you get a lot of views on, capitalize on it. Make another video about it. Do a, a second part or a related topic. Because if something works, you're going to want to make a second video because that video will do good. And then the next video after that will do even better. And just keep going with that. Stick to it. That's part one. Just part one. Now because we're talking about YouTube, can we please get some red colors in because it's YouTube? Oh, would you look at that? That was kind of dumb, but uh... Also make sure you have a lot of different camera angles. Quick and fast changing camera angles is really appealing to most viewers. Also make sure you have music. My first viral video did not and I hate that I didn't add music. But make sure that you use music that is copyright free because you don't want to get in trouble. Go to the YouTube audio library. I'll even leave the link in the description down below. Use the free music there, but make sure that it's actually free because some of them you have to put something in your description, which isn't that big of a deal, but if you want to use completely free music, just click this setting and you're really 
you're good to go. Some of the music there is pretty good. I use it in most of my short films. So the second thing we need to talk about here is search engine optimization. SEO, the YouTube algorithm. How to crack it so that you can rank higher in searches. Now, I don't really think anyone knows how it works but I have some general ideas. So some people think that tags and descriptions are extremely important, but I don't actually think they are. While I'm not saying don't do your tags or descriptions, the main part of it is your title and thumbnail. You need to craft titles that are, well, perfect, pretty much. Now, unfortunately on YouTube nowadays, you have to clickbait. I hate clickbaiting so much, but it's the only way to grow. And ever since I switched to clickbaiting, you grow a lot faster. But don't clickbait like ridiculously. You need to clickbait with integrity, is what I call it. So make sure your clickbait is actually true to the video. Like you can actually justify it. And same goes with your thumbnails. Make them simple, but catchy. A white background is perfect, and then red text. Red is perfect because in advertising, it, uh, it, it really pops for the eyes. It's the first color that people notice like right away. So make it simple and big and red. Your thumbnails need to be really big because on YouTube you view the thumbnail but it's like super shrunk down to like a little size and that's all you see. So make sure you have really zoomed in thumbnails, really oversaturated thumbnails because people are viewing it from afar, and really simple and clickable thumbnails. If you want an example of what I'm talking about, here are some. You can also see some of my uh, most popular videos have these have the same sort of style. And they did really good because of the title is clickbaity and the thumbnail is, it matches it. Now back on the titles for a bit, you wanna state like a question or something and then at the end, put like a fact about it. Like what you actually do in the video. So for this uh, video, what I would call it just, just straight off the bat is how to grow on YouTube in 2018. You can capitalize it all, it doesn't matter. But at the end, make sure you put explain in brackets, maybe an explanation point or whatever. Now another thing here is to make sure that your descriptions are long. You want to have keywords in your description, so, so write them out very um, carefully and pay attention to detail. Try and include keywords. You want your keywords in your description to match with your tags and even your uh, title. Write like, you know, a good paragraph, I would say. Also make sure you have relevant links, like a lot of links to different sources that you might have used in the video. Unless there's none, that doesn't matter. Now your tags, my suggestion is to max them out. You get 500 characters to use to your benefit, so make sure you use effective keywords. Now try not to use the ones that are too trendy because they'll just get lost in all the searches and stuff, you know? Use variations of your title of what people would search, like different ways people would search it. Go to the search bar and just type and see what the suggestions are. Those are the keywords you want to put in. Now, I actually have a tool that you guys can use for this. It's called TubeBuddy. It is just an extension that you can link with your YouTube account, and it'll actually suggest to you tags to use. And it is completely free to a degree. You can pay on a monthly basis to get like full features, but like even I don't use the paid version and my channel. I think it is also what I attribute some of my success to as well. In late August is when I started using it. And as you can see, that went pretty good for me. So this is how you use it. You basically write out your descriptions and your titles so that it has a basic idea of what you're gonna do. And then put in a few tags, and then it'll suggest some things. Click there, and then just go through all these uh, suggestions. If they're relevant enough to your video, add them. Click the drop down menu to get different variations and add those as well. And go until you're maxed out. That's my advice, that's what works for me. But then again, I've seen videos with no tags and no description kick off just like that. So I'll have a link to TubeBuddy in the description. If you want to buy it, it is recommended that you do that to get even more features because you can actually do a lot with TubeBuddy. I might just make a separate video on it because like seriously, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So links in the description. Now in addition to TubeBuddy, you really want to keep your keywords all the same so that YouTube really knows what your video is about. And a way to do this is to have it in the video itself. Not only does YouTube check your, your tags and your titles and your descriptions, YouTube checks the video transcript. What you actually say in the video, the auto-generated crap, YouTube will check that and use those keywords. So make sure you start your video basically with your title or something around that. Tell the viewers what you're going to be watching right away. And throughout the video, make sure you use tags, search engine optimization, how to grow on YouTube. This is how to grow on YouTube. See, I just did it there. 
And now I'll rank higher in the searches. <laughs> Part three, after uploading. So of course you're gonna add end screens and cards, right? Make sure your end screens you have best for viewer because YouTube's smart. YouTube is actually really smart when it comes to suggesting content, so use the best for viewer tag. So number four, this to me is the biggest and most important thing of all. You can ditch TubeBuddy, you can ditch titles and descriptions and thumbnails and keywords. It doesn't matter if you don't have this part. Make sure you are doing what you love. Follow your passion. It's really quite simple, but if you're not doing it, your quality won't be good. It's really basic. If you really love what you're doing on YouTube and you keep it consistent, like po you post every week, people can tell that you're doing what you love to do and they'll subscribe to you. But you have to believe it to like a degree that's like way up there. So for example, I have to deal with uh, post-secondary crap. A few months ago, if I was asked, what do you want to do when you're older? I would say some excuse like, hey, uh, yeah, I want to go study film. But in my mind, I was saying, no, I really want to go and do YouTube, but I was too afraid to tell the people who I'm talking to about that. But now, since I've had my success, I feel confident enough to actually tell those people that I want to do YouTube when I'm older. And I can confidently say that. And some people might say I'm being really stupid, but my head is so high up in the clouds that I don't care. And I think you need to get to that point where you don't care. Now, of course, I'm still going to apply to university, so don't worry about me. It's good to keep, you know, a lot of doors open, but I want to talk to you now about keeping it consistent. You want to upload as much as you can, almost pretty much every day. If you really want this, you have to live it, okay? You have to breathe it. That's the best way to say it. It has to be a part of your everyday life. Every second of your living consciousness, you have to be focused on YouTube. For real. I think one of the reasons, another one of the reasons why my channel really kicked off at the end of the summer is because I spent the entire summer doing YouTube. There wasn't a day where I wasn't working hard on YouTube. In the last two weeks, I was like, hey, I have a bunch of unfinished uh, series here, and I filmed every single episode for those series in the course of two weeks. I edited them, scheduled them. That's why, if you notice in some of my videos on Mondays, the skits, I have longer hair because those were all filmed in the summer and it's just being released every Monday. The hard work even paid off. I get to relax on Mondays because I don't have to film a video which I still do anyways, but whatever. You just really want to do what you love. And if you're not doing that, you're not going to get far on YouTube. At least, well, you, you can, but it's not going to, it's going to be pretty hard. Now, getting 100 subscribers, I heard, is the hardest to do, and I kind of believe that. And when you lose subscribers, or you're not gaining enough, or you feel discouraged, don't give up. It shouldn't be about the numbers anyways, but we seem to get into the mindset that it is about the numbers. But when you feel discouraged, it's okay to take a break, just don't give up. Like for real, if you really want this, if it's your dream, never give up on your dream. It's because I believe in you, so that's about it, don't know what else to say. Back to editing. So that's about it guys. This is all that I've learned since 2010. And it's been a crazy ride on YouTube, it's definitely not over yet. If you want to check out our Discord server, it's been growing at a rapid rate. I think we need more moderators for the for it, it's, it's going crazy. Be sure to also check out our merch, you can get some of this. We also have other styles available, so go check that out. Links in the description, all these links that I'm talking about, all down below. Guys, don't unsubscribe and fly on, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, if you want more in-depth stuff about these topics, comment them down below and I will make a video on them.